Jay Baruchel came by and he finally had something to say about Corwin making fun of the Habs logo. Good. He should. That logo is sweet. Yeah, he had a special message for you. Did you see and hear what he said? Jay, uh -oh. <laughs> what do you have to say to Corwin? Eat a <laughs> What the <laughs> Why? Jay Baruchel actually had a strike system that you probably would have envied because he just didn't have strikes. What do I have to do to get that system? Christian, it's been some time. I'm back. Julia, making your debut all the way from Thunder Bay. I was wondering how long the Thunder Bay shadow was going to take. Literally immediately. Yeah. Do you know that in Thunder Bay, they refer to cottages as camps? Yeah, I don't get it. People hate on that all the time. That's it's like, weird. I was, I said to somebody, I was like, oh, I'm going to camp. And they're like, oh, are you going to like sing Kumbaya and wear matching shirts? Why, why is it called camp? What, what about going to the cottage is a camp? Are there counselors at your cottage? Julia, figure it out. Okay, so you know how this works. 10 questions. Okay. One strike. One strike system. We still have that bonus in the middle. The 10th question is our final boss. The Bowser. It's a scary one. Thankfully, you'll never have to face it. You're a funny guy. <laughs> so today you're going to be doing a quiz on NHL rookies. Okay. NHL rookies. It's a little vague. Kind of broad. Like there have been a lot of rookies in NHL history. So I have no hate there. Are you ready? I'm ready. What? <laughs> Warning. Jesse is about to yell. Go! <laughs> Let's go. Always brings me to tears because you keep hurting my ears. I want to win. I want All right. Question number one. Name the last three Calder Trophy winners. The last three Calder Trophy winners. Yeah. All right. We've got Matt Barzell. Matt Barzell. Barzell. Last year was Matt Barzell. Austin Matthews. Over line A. Everyone's just going to pipe it. All right. Line A's sick. Like, like, I don't care about Austin Matthews being good. That's great. I, I get it. Austin Matthews is a good player. I, I, I honestly respect Austin Matthews as a player, but everyone's just going to pipe it about him being so much better than line A. AM3 uh, did hockey exist before Austin Matthews played? Hockey? Austin Matthews. Matthews and... Okay, so Connor McDavid was broken that year. Wow. Are you about to get out on question one? Oh, Panarin. Aw, oh, damn it. Hey, kids, it's me. Artemi Panarin. Artemi Panarin. The third one was Artemi Panarin. I believe Artemi Panarin was the third one. That is correct, Luca. Of course it is. Shut up. <laughs> what do you... Uh, shut up! Of course it is. <laughs> yeah, because I got it right! We'll see if you get question two right. I will! Question number two. I, I don't like true or false questions, but... I also hate people who leave their phones on. I want to walk. I'll walk. If cell phones go off, I'll walk. I don't like true or false questions, but you know what? You know, a lot of you have just been struggling the early questions. I figure I'd just throw you a bone. Well, you know what? That's very generous of you. I appreciate that, especially with the one strike system. It's the only true or false in this entire quiz, and it's the first one that we've ever done. True or false? Wayne Gretzky scored more goals in his rookie season in the NHL than Connor McDavid did in his first two seasons in the NHL. I don't even know what the number is for either of them, but I'm going to go with Gretzky had more goals in his rookie season. I got a 50-50 shot. I'm going to say true. 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 Yeah, I'm going true. That would be correct. Gretzky had 51, McDavid had 46. Yeah, but if McDavid didn't get injured, then that would have been a whole different story. It wasn't technically a rookie season, even though it was. Didn't qualify for the Calder. Didn't qualify. Won the heart. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> yeah. Question number three. Who currently owns the record for most goals scored by a rookie in their debut. Oh. In their debut. In their debut. Oh my god, this makes me so sick. It was October 12th, 2016. I was at my Papa Guido's house in Thunder Bay, Ontario. It was Thanksgiving. You know who's gonna love answering this one? Say it. Obviously, Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews. He hit him with the four. Austin Matthews. It's Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews. Oh, hit him with the four. Hit him with the four like Austin Matthews. Austin Matthews. Hit him with the four. <laughs> It's Austin Matthews. Like, give it up. Move on. One of my favorite games to ever watch. Yeah, whatever. They lost the game. I don't care. <laughs> it was amazing to watch. Like, no one cares. Four goals in one game. Sure, that's great. He got lucky, man. Like, just watching him pickpocket Eric Carlson. Whew! It's in the past. What a game. What are you doing for me now, Ozzy? Okay, you're still pretty sick now. But still, it's like, let's just move on and let's... Come on! I'm sick of being asked leave questions. Let's go! Don't worry, we have only a few more in this quiz. About to hit you with the four. Fourth question, that is. Oh. oh. Hit him with the four like oh, Stop it! I'm gonna hit him with the four right now. As long as you know it's luck and not skill. So, number four. Which Calder Trophy winner went on to score the most points in their career? Oh, interesting. That's really hard. Their whole career, eh? That's like really, really hard. Wow. Oh. That is a question. It's Howard Lemieux. I know Lemieux won the Calder. I don't know if Gordie Howe won a Calder trophy. I don't 
know. I don't know a lot in this, actually. Man, did he win it? I guess the trick here is supposed to be like, obviously Gretzky didn't win because he wasn't eligible. Oh, let's get out of here. But I also don't think Lemieux played long enough. I'm gonna go with Super Mario. I'm gonna go with Mario Lemieux. Is that the fantastic one, Mario? Mario Lemieux. Um... Yager? Ladies and gentlemen, Core, when you're out of here. What you say? Oh, that's your oh, only damn eyes. Eyes. You scare the shit out of me every time you do this. You, so you know what? Right. Like you make me insecure. Jeez, that was that was hard. What? Breathe easy. I can't. And you talked yourself into that. I'm like, he keeps having this thought that Lemieux didn't play that long. Yeah, he played a shorter career because of injuries. He still played a lot of games. Yeah. And he scored a lot of points. Damn, and... that sucks a lot. Damn. Did Yager not win a Calder then? He did not. You're out here. Yeah. All right. Moving on. Question five. Okay, question five. <laughs> the stress is real. Who was the last rookie to score 50 goals in their rookie season? Holy. 50 goals in a season. So they were a rookie at the time that they did. Barzal didn't do it. Matthews didn't do it. It wasn't McKinnon. Obviously not. Obviously not. Panarin didn't do it. No. Uh, is it Ovi? I guess I'll go with Ovi. Like, I don't feel confident at all. I'm gonna go with, even if it's wrong, my boy, Alexander Ovechkin. Alex Ovechkin. It's my favorite time. This is my favorite time in the right. quiz. I, I don't even, I'm not even letting you <laughs> Wait, say anything. Wait, would you sit down? I don't want would you, you to sit say down? anything. This is my favorite time of the quiz. It's when I get to confuse Luke into thinking he's been eliminated, oh, oh even God. though he got it right. Why'd you do this to me, man? <laughs> Yeet! It's an easy one. Yeah. For some. This, Why do you do this, this guy, to me? This guy got up and started to take his mic off. I have a full head of gray hair because of these quizzes. I attribute it to this alone and not the fact that my dad has a full head of gray hair. Car Holy crap, man. Carmelo would be proud because you're moving on to the bonus round. We're moving on to the bonus round. Sweet. Before we start the bonus round, we might as well take a little pause in the action. If you're having fun, you're enjoying what you're watching, why not subscribe, right? Maybe that helps us make more of these. If you like watching them, just subscribe. Why wouldn't you hit subscribe? That's the real question. Do you not like this put them enough? Okay, well that's not a selling point. What about Luca's hair? Or Corwin's scruffy beard? Or Z's beautiful voice? All right, let's start the bonus round. <laughs> let's do this. You know how it works. You get this right, you get that free pass. If you get it wrong, well, we're just moving on without it. The second I am done reading this question, you have 30 seconds to oh, answer. Oh, man. List the following players in order of least points scored to most points scored in their first season in the NHL. Gretzky, Lemieux, Crosby, Ovi. Starting now. Crosby at the least. Crosby. Ovechkin. Crosby. Ovechkin, Lem Lemieux, Gretzky. Ovechkin, Lemieux, Gretzky. Crosby, Lemieux, Gretzky. Lemieux. O.V. Gretzky. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Lemieux had 100. Crosby had 102. O.V. had 106. Wow. Gretzky had 137. O.V. had a friggin' good year that year, man. Your dog's gonna be pissed. Oh, man. Shout out Bailey. What up, Bailey? <laughs> Your dog's the best. <laughs> Whatever. I'll rebound. Let's go. Question number six. In the history of the Calder Memorial Trophy, only 15 goalies have won the award. Name all 15. No. <laughs> no I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. That's a joke. No, I'm just kidding. I would have gone. The, I would have just, I would have for real walked out that time. I was ready to just walk out and take this off. You just have to name three. Three goalies that won the Calder. Andrew Raycroft. Leafs legend. Andrew Raycroft's one of them. Andrew Raycroft. Andrew Raycroft. Uh, this one might sink me. Uh, Steve Mason. Terry Sawchuk. <laughs> I got two! Yeah, regrettably, because I really hope I don't have to ever hear that again. <laughs> that was just a shot in the dark, man! I wish we were in the dark so I didn't have to see that dance. <laughs> yeah, but that sound would have been a whole lot creepier in the dark. <laughs> Ken Dryden. Ken Dryden. Wow, that was really easy for you. This one might be a weird one. Tom Barrasso. God damn it! Really?! Yes! yes! Might as well go for it. This one is going to be a shot in the dark and I'm using it from inspiration from the Jay Baruchel video, Jose Theodore. Patrick Roy. Much like Jay Baruchel, he 
to bed, Christian. Uh. That's it, Julia. Unfortunately, you're not getting the Calder in this edition of the quiz as the rookie to appear in here. That's okay. I, I tried. You did really well. You taught us some slang, so that's always good, because we like to inform as much as what we like we to learn? entertain. Camp. Uh, camp, which I'll never use again. God, I'm sorry, it's a cottage. But it's not. A cottage is where like a little witch lives. A little witch lives. What is Children? that? <laughs> get out. All right, Julia, get out of here. That's nonsense. <laughs> Question number seven. Question seven. Question seven. You somehow fluked your way here. I didn't fluke my way into anything, okay? Fluke at your lever, oh, everyone. Goodness. Lucky number seven, baby. Who was the last undrafted rookie to win the Calder Trophy? You gotta be kidding me. Unlucky number seven, baby. The last undrafted rookie to win the Calder. Holy. Lee, alrighty. Oh, I know. It's our time in Panera. Yes, it is. Yeah, baby, let's go. I don't even know like what time frame I'm supposed to be thinking of, like if players were drafted or not that I'm thinking of. Like Austin Matthews was drafted. Connor McDavid was drafted. Aaron Eckblatt, drafted. Nathan McKinnon, drafted. Panarin. Panarin's the one that I don't know if he was drafted or not because he came from the KHL. <sighs> like I could look like a total fool for just guessing him. Tyler Myers, I know, was drafted. Andrew Raycroft was drafted. Ovi was drafted. Kane was drafted. Malkin was drafted. Okay, I, I guess I'll just go with Artemi Panarin. I don't think it's him. I doubt it's him. I, I just can't think of any rookies that went undrafted. I'm honestly going to petition to have your nickname changed to Fluka because you fluked your way into question eight. Really? Yes, you have. Wow. Ho. Oh. The bread man. Question number eight. If you get this question wrong, not only are you out of the quiz, but oh. I think Winnipeg should kick you out of the oh. city. Timu, the Finnish Flash Solani. Yep. Currently owns a record for most goals scored in a rookie season. Can you tell me exactly how many goals did he score? 76. 76. Let's move on, baby. Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm thinking, taste it. I've reached the top. Oh, I'm going to nine. <laughs> Throw a glove up! Give me a glove and shoot it, baby! Timu! Apparently that was too easy. This guy's just passing out. I don't know if I can handle this pressure. The first rookie record that anyone talks about is Solani for goals, Solani for points. 76 goals in the season. Question number nine. Who is the oldest player to win Rookie of the Year? I know this one! You think you can stump me, Mr. Z? He was 31 years old! Sergei Makarov. Makarov. God damn it. It was Makarov! <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby! I knew I knew his name! Apparently it's a cakewalk. This is a fluke of performance. No, this is not! Don't take this away from me! I'm, I'm actually schwitzing right now, though. Seriously, like, the amount of swass that I have right now is just too much. Oh man, final boss. I'm this is, so excited. It's an exceptional performance from you today. I'm just, you know, usually I just make fun of you because it's easy and fun to do. But yeah, this is an out of body experience. This is like the Jordan flu game, except this is the Luca Harvey's game in which I just like ate a bunch of food, felt like crap, came in here and knocked it out of the park. And now I'm one shot away from the championship. You have made it to the final boss. The final boss. Look to your left, look to your right. It's coming for you. It's coming? Oh, Here it is. Where is it? It's the final. Ducksworth. Are you nervous? Ducksworth. I've had terrible nightmares about freaking Ducksworth for months now. Like, I've been waiting for this moment. This is redemption time. Here comes the question. Let's do it. In the final question of this quiz, it will determine whether or not I call you a loser for the rest of the week in the <laughs> office. <laughs> This performance, you can't call me a loser. Only four players have won the Calder Trophy at the age of 18. Name all four. Nathan McKinnon. Yes, that makes sense. You got that one. Yep, yeah, I knew that one. This is just nuts. If anyone else gets to this question, is the tiebreaker whoever got more? So whoever gets more here is the winner. I just want to be sure of that because that's going to stop me from just blurting out random names. That is the tiebreaker, yes. Uh, Patty Kane? That's it for you, Luca. Who were they? Jesse, you went last this week, and two of you actually made it to this point. We may need a tiebreaker. We're actually going to get Luca to sit in <laughs> as you answer. No. Because he got it to here. If you get more than him, you win. What? Luca, oh come in. Oh my god. Luca, come in. This guy. I know he's gonna get it. This guy's got a piece of call. <sighs> call like, I sit down for one second and you're already touching my hair. For what reason? Because it looks like you have a piece of cauliflower on the back of your head. <laughs> People hate me. People hate me. There's no such thing as ties anymore. Nope. Ties are gone. Nope. So this is actually how a lot of them could end up with some kind of face-off. Sucks. Worth. 
Once again, you guys are facing off in a head-to-head. -head. Luca, you're kind of just a participant here. You've already answered. You are not allowed to say a single word. Why would I help him? You can laugh at him. I'll laugh at him. You're not allowed to sway him in the wrong direction. No, I won't. I won't say anything wrong. I won't lead him wrong. All I can yeah. do is You can react to him. Leave it up to the hockey gods. Yeah. Good guy Luca over here. Hope you fail. <laughs> Jesse always looks like he's about to lose I'm it. I'm about to cry. This is insane. I, I just know I'm not going to get as many as oh, Luca, and I yeah. feel I, I, I'm worthy of a win at this point, okay? I it's don't. time for me to get a win. I haven't won in a while, and it's time. Yeah, I owe it to my fan base. <laughs> what a jerk. Jesus. Yeah, next time, don't body okay. check. All right, hurry up, hurry up. I want to go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's drop him in. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's drop him in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> knock you out. What is this? <laughs> Okay, here, I'm gonna Brad Marchand out there, baby. Name more than Luca did. Luca got one. Well, I know which one Who? Luca got. Who? Nathan McKinnon. Yep. You guys are tied, and another tie-breaking question will be required if Jesse cannot deliver on one more name. You gotta give me some time here. She needed one more, and I would have I would have secured it if I got two. Well, you didn't secure the bag. I'm, I'm <laughs> this is amazing because Luca's gonna be devastated if you say one correct answer. Just say someone. John Tavares. We're going to a tiebreaker. No, it's no. Funny, it's funny because one of them plays for your Winnipeg Jets. Yeah, that's embarrassing. Was it Timu? Dale Howarchuk. Okay, here's the tiebreaking question. Who was the last? Calder Trophy winner to score over a hundred points. Ovechkin. Oh my God. That was, a, that was a tie. Go to the tape. I'm folks. You asked for the tape last time. I'm going to the tape this time. All right, guys. We went to the tape. Luca, you got your first dub. Poor sportsmanship. Screw this. The hockey gods! So mad. <laughs> Furious. <laughs> no! So Je Jesse left the room with the mic. 